Good morning fellow woodworkers, welcome back to another video. So recently I released a video where I created this rather beautiful looking olive wood and crane cutting board. You can find the link down there in the description. And from far away and on camera it looked pretty decent. But if you take a closer look at this cutting board, you are going to notice that we can still see a few stains of glue, for example, where the oil just couldn't really sink into the wood and the like. And the reason for this was I'm working here basically in my backyard, you could say, and I didn't have my CNC here to basically shave off the surface of the cutting board to a nice and plain surface, to a flat one. I was using my orbital sander, my random orbital, and it worked out to a certain extent, but if you just feel over it, it's just not flat overall. And this was bugging me yesterday, so on my timeline I created this one yesterday completely. And I wanted to get rid of this problem and I really wasn't sure if I could let this one run through my planner because it's an end crane board and with end crane there comes a bit of a problem when it comes to letting it run through planner. So what's the problem with end crane exactly? On the one hand end crane is magnificent to use for cutting boards for example because it can really damp the pressure on your knife if you cut on it. It's way better than regular grained boards and the thing is with end crane, this is like the terrible thing, the reason why you can't let it run through a planner is because all the wood fibers are basically pointing to the top and if you let a planner run over it all the wood fibers get compressed in one direction and the knife is going to hit against a thick wall. Okay? And overall what's going to happen most of the time with, with end crane, if you ever try to use your block plane for example on an end crane board or the like, you're going to notice that on the corners and the edges your fibers are just going to basically split off and you're going to get a very very ugly edge here. And to counteract this problem I thought about two things. On the one hand I want to reduce the load on my blades in my planner. For this I'm going to take very very tiny steps downwards. Maybe only taking off like 1 20th of a millimeter at a time. Also one good thing about my cutting board is that I already chamfered it right here. Meaning, good thing is, at the last part where the blades are going to hit, I hopefully won't get any tear up on the corners and the edges. And this is what we are going to try out today. That's a first timer for me and I hope it's going to work out. And if it works out then the myth with uh, don't let end crane cutting boards run through your planner is basically destroyed you could say. Myth busted. Let's try it out and hopefully my planner will survive it. Fingers crossed that everything works out. I'm going to start off with the back side of my board because this is the part that I'm not going to see from above. So yeah, um, if anything gets hurt, then this side should get hurt. Also, I make sure that I'm only basically dragging it through at the moment and then I'm going to step down in very small iterations, trying to get just a tiny little bit of the board off once at a time. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it worked. It took off a bit of the work. That is good. So it took off a tiny little layer of wood and I think I can continue with this. It seems to be working out. I can't believe this. Goodness, end crane boards through a planner. This is awesome. And here's the problem I was talking about. You see, um, I was dumb enough to not put any kind of chamfer onto the handle. Meaning I'm going to get tear up on this part, but on the parts where I have chamfer going on, I'm not going to get any kind of tear up. So yeah, definitely make use of some kind of chamfer to yeah get, get rid of this huge problem of tear up. But this really doesn't matter, I can just use my router table and get rid of this ugly part again. Awesome, so, so thankful it's working out. Two or three more iterations and then we, we should be good to go, I think. So. First side done and I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Just take a look at that. Everything's perfectly flat. I can complain about that apart from the <laughs> one um, yeah, tear up here on the side. Yeah, now I'm going to continue with the other side. Okay, I'm just going to leave the mode how it is and then turn it down one quarter of a rotation and get this side flat too. That's so amazing that it works out. And thus we are done. And I'm going to officially call the myth that you can put end crane bolts into a thickness planner as busted. And as a little bit of fan service for the YouTube algorithm, you can watch me oil this 
amazing piece of wood now. And this concludes today's video and if you did enjoy what you have seen today then definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and to support the channel on Patreon if you are especially generous. And other than that, don't forget to try it out for yourself and always use sharp tools. I think one of my advantages um, that it worked out so nicely was that, well, that I got a brand new thickness blender and it got really sharp plates um, attached uh, onto the roll which is going to rotate. So yeah, always make sure to work safely and with sharp tools. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Ciao.